We've just nipped into the climbing centre and you have to do kind of a licence or climbing licence or something when you're in Sweden. It also covers you for Norway. So we've just done that. Very similar to the kind of inductions that you do over in the UK. But you don't have to sign a waiver document or anything like that to boulder. You just turn up and boulder. They're quite happy with that. But if you want to do ropes, then you've got to do the, the test, as it were, which they charge you for. Um, 300 kroner. 300, yeah, 300 kroner is what they charge you each. Um, I'm not quite sure what that works out. I'll work it out and I'll, I'll put something down the bottom and say what it works out to in, in pound sterling, as it were. We're just taking a little walk down the hill to where all the shops and that are so we can get a bit of food. Uh, they have agreed that we can stay in their car park overnight, so it's a nice free park up, which is very nice of them. So we're going to be going climbing in the morning. We've done our, so we did our induction tonight, but we are just here. So I want to capture this on camera right now because we just come to cross the road. And we're still on the road waiting to cross over and a car comes off the roundabout and stops. And we're like, okay, they've stopped. And then another run comes the other way and then they stop, but there's no crossing there at all. Really, it's just like a drop curb. And they just sit there and we're like, okay, so we just cross over. So in Sweden, it would appear that pedestrians always get right of way. So they have to stop, which I suppose that makes sense, but I didn't, didn't yeah. So, Pretty safe crossing the roads here, it would seem. That, unlike the UK, you've got to chance it whether they're actually going to stop or not. Down into the town, and we come into Willie's as a shop to get some food from. The, the weirdest thing in here is the the aisles, because in the UK they're very straight. This is what. So we've got aisles this way, in here, and you can go over here. So the aisles just seem to go everywhere. Whereas, as I say, completely different to what we're used to. I'm not quite sure about the pricing yet because it's obviously all in Swedish krona and we're used to pound, but we'll figure it out. Well, that's the shopping done for today. Just got to head back up the hill now, back up to the van. Now it's time to get a bit of grubbiness now we've uh, been shopping. Tonight we are having sweet potato fries mushrooms, peppers, cucumber, tomato, and chicken, chicken fillets. that go down well, I'm sure. Yum, yum. Let's get cooking. Food's ready. Done a lovely job. Time to tuck in. Good morning, so we are at the park up from last night. Looks a bit different during the day. How we pronounce this place? Yonkin, I think how we pronounce it. We'll put a thing in the so, yeah, I'll put a bit down the bottom that shows where we are. Uh, we're going to the climb centre here, so we are good enough to let us stay here last night. So we're going to have a bit of a climb. We got signed off and everything to done, so we can climb at any of the climbing centres, apparently in Sweden or Norway, but we'll cover under this same pass. So let's go on into the centre. Good morning, how are you doing? Excellent. Yes. Right. We're just going to get signed in and uh, we'll put this back up on the wall. Not 
So that brings our time at High Sports to a close. Really good visit, great centre, you know, really good solid route setting, and he was good enough to give us a climbing hold. So this will be going on the home wall. Interesting how the grades are font grade, the route setting for the grade, some of the, the, the sort of crux moves are, are different to what you would expect within the UK. They're kind of maybe a little bit tougher than what you would expect for the grade. But all in all, pretty solid route setting, really nice clean centre, well worth a visit. Big shout out to the guys here. If you do end up traveling up this way and you are a climber, certainly worth a stop. I will include a what free word at the bottom so you can find it. Time to hit the road. Of course, don't forget the like button, subscribe button, notification bell to hear when the next video goes live. See you in the next video.